वेलकम टू वी एल एस आई लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर इरेस दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू सीमोस ट्रांसमिशन गेट एंड सीमोस ट्रांसमिशन गेट एज बफर इन दिस वीडियो सो फर्स्ट आई एक्सप्लेन यू वॉट इज सीमोस ट्रांसमिशन गेट वॉट आर द सिम्बॉल्स ऑफ सीमोस ट्रांसमिशन गेट देन वी विल सी इट्स स्ट्रक्चर एंड देन वी विल सी हाउ सीमोस ट्रांसमिशन गेट इज वर्किंग एज ट्राई स्टेट बफर सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट सिम्बॉल ऑफ सीमोस ट्रांसमिशन गेट then there are different symbols which is there let me draw one symbol you see where this is my input let us say it is a and my output let us say that is b and here we have control signal c and complement of control that we need to give it over here so this is one symbol which is there with cmos transmission gate there are few more symbols I'll draw second symbol, CMOS transmission gate symbol here. You see, where here we have input A, here we have output B, and control signal that is C, and complement of it that we need to give it over here. So that is how CMOS transmission gate symbols are there, right? Now I'll explain you the basic circuit structure which is there with CMOS transmission gate. so when we talk about circuit of cmos transmission gate then it has one pmos and one nmos and you see it is connected like this where this is my pmos and here i am dealing with to connect nmos and this is my output so we can say this is my input a this is my output b and control signal that is c over here and complement of it that we need to connect over here right so ultimately we can say cmos transmission gate that has one pmos and one nmos and gate is complementary to control over here so cmos transmission gates structure that is having one nmos this is n this is pmos and this is nmos right so it has one pmos and one nmos and gate is complementary to each other you see and that is what our control signal now i'll explain you how cmos transmission gate is working as tri state so to explain working of cmos transmission gate as tri state buffer i need to redraw the circuit which is there with cmos transmission gate so let me redraw the circuit of cmos transmission gate so now you see in this structure we have pmos here and we have nmos here so we can say here we have input c which is control signal and input a right so that is my input and we have output b now see as there are two inputs we can say there are total four combinations as per digital circuit 0 0 0 1 10 11 now let us try to understand how this cmos transmission gate is working so if you observe when c is 0 so at the time this c is 0 and complement of it that is 1 over here so if you observe see this is my nmos and if gate of nmos is logic 0 in that case it will stay off and here there is logic 1 as c bar is connected so when gate of gate of pmos is logic 1 then it will stay off so you can say this nmos and this pmos both will stay off so it will be open circuit ideally that we can say and as these two terminals are open circuit this input a cannot passes through this transistor so output b that will stay in high impedance mode so as that is not connected open circuit this terminal b that will stay in high impedance mode so when c is 0 at that time this cmos transmission gate that stays in high impedance mode now let us have 
c is equals to 1. So when c is equals to 1, then you see this is 1 and this is c bar, so it will be 0. So this n mos that will be on as well as this p mos that will be on. And in that case, as if input a is 0, in that case, this a that is 0, which will pass through this n mos to output. So output will get 0. So if a is 0, then why 0 will pass through n mos? The reason is n mos is good to pass with logic 0 and p mos is good to pass with logic 1. So 0 that will get passed through n mos even though both are on, right? But when c is 1 and a is 0 at that time, you see c is 1 means this c is 1 and this c bar is 0. So n mos and p mos both are on, but input is 1. So that will pass through this p mos. Why? The reason is p mos are good to pass with logic 1, right? So this input that will get transferred to output. So if you observe this truth table, so that is what having three state at output side as if control is equals to zero output will stay in high impedance mode. But as if control is one, then input will go to output, right? So output can be there with logic zero or logic one. So here this CMOS transmission gate that is working as a tri-state buffer that even one can say, right? And here one thing that we need to understand, I have seen students are thinking like when C is 1, NMOS and PMOS are 1, so input will go via both of this transistor, right? It, input will not go via both of this transistor. See, when C is 1, then both will be on. But as if input is 0, then that 0 will get passed through NMOS as NMOS is good to pass with logic 0. And when input is 1 at that time, it will pass through PMOS as PMOS is good to pass on logic 1, right? So that is how this working and truth table is there. And this CMOS transmission gate is even one can say working as tri-state buffer as you can see it in this truth table. So this is all about CMOS transmission gate. In future videos, you will be finding many other circuits that I'm going to place it based on CMOS transmission gate. So that will be helping you to understand how we can use this CMOS transmission gate. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you have understood this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions. The reason is your suggestions matters to me and based on that in future, I'll be making videos.